Hello friends and welcome to the Power Electronic course in the Electrical ECG channel. So in the previous video we have seen graph, this graph which is the forward VI characteristics of the power level. Now uh, I forgot to explain one particular thing that is how to calculate this R on when this particular uh, graph is given that is the forward static VI characteristics is given. Now you know that VAK value is equal to VJ plus VRD okay a small recap. So VAK was the voltage across the anode to cathode. And Vj was the junction uh, potential that is between the P plus and N minus junction. Okay, And Vrd was the uh, voltage drop across the drift region. Voltage drop across the drift region. And this Vrd value was equal to If into R1. That is forward current into uh, on state resistance. Now, to calculate from this particular graph, it's quite easy. You just had to find the slope of the graph. So, if you see at the slope of this particular, let us take this blue graph here. So the slope of the graph will be delta ID divided by delta VAK, right? The slope will be delta ID divided by delta VAK. But this delta ID divided by delta VAK, which is the slope, is not actually the resistance. It is not the on-state resistance, but it is actually the on-state conductance because it is current divided by, okay, it is on-state conductance. So if you want to find the on state resistance, it is direct. You can just take the inverse of this one divided by G on. Okay. Now this is because uh, the graph here, X, uh, the y axis is ID and the x axis is uh, VAK. So if it is reverse, accordingly the equations will change. Another thing that I wanted to emphasize in this particular area is that the manufacturer of any particular power diode gives a specification, okay, which is called the maximum forward maximum forward voltage drop okay so in a way it is giving you the manufacturer it is giving you the maximum vak okay it's a specification okay but why do they give maximum value okay the reason why they give maximum value is that the vak changes with current for example i am taking this value of id see this will be the value of vak this will be vak1 if i take another value of current somewhere around here so you can see this is the new value of this VAK2. So to avoid all these confusion, the manufacturer will give you a maximum forward voltage drop. This maximum forward, forward voltage drop is for at a specific current, at a specific forward current, specific forward current, right? A specific junction temperature, a specific junction temperature. Also, a specific pulse width. Specific pulse width in the sense usually these uh, specifications are arrived under certain test conditions. So the pulse that they are using to test this particular voltage is that pulse width also is defined to uh, define the maximum voltage drop. Okay. Anyway, this will come in some other part of the course. So, for example, a manufacturer will give you the specification as what the maximum forward voltage drop is 1.38 volt. Okay, so it will tell you it is at say 38 amperes at 25 degrees of junction temperature and say it is tested at a pulse width of 10 microsecond. So, this is how they will give you. So, usually for power diodes, this maximum forward voltage drop is between 1 to 2 volt. I will show you a data sheet later in this course where I, we will see this particular value also. With this we are concluding the discussion on forward VI characteristics. Now we will come into the most important point which is the turn on characteristics of power diodes. Turn on characteristics of power diodes. So to understand turn on characteristics we need a circuit, a simple diode circuit. So here I have a voltage source which has a voltage input VI. It is giving a voltage input of VI. This is my diode D. This is my current limiting resistance or load resistance RL. Okay. And the voltage, this is VAK. The voltage across anode to cathode is VAK. And here I am marking the forward direction of current, ID, which is the forward current. Current always matches with the arrow direction of the diode. Remember that. Okay. So, with this, let us understand what is the turn on characteristics of power diode. Now, before beginning turn on characteristics, let us give a small recap on what we did in turn off characteristics. So in turn off characteristics, turn off characteristics, what did we do with the diode? So the diode was actually in its on condition, right? The diode was in its on condition and you made it go off. 
from there you understood what is turn off characteristic right from diode this was in the on condition from there it went to its off condition in that interval you saw what was the characteristic and to achieve this what was the voltage input that you gave so the voltage input was in such a way that initially the diode was on that means we had forward bias and finally we made the diode off so that means we made it reverse bias so in this case what would be the voltage with respect to time so here i am just plotting a small voltage with respect to time graph so this is vi so we are talking about turn off characteristic okay so initially the diode was forward biased so i was applying a plus vs voltage right i was applying plus yes then i made the diode into reverse bias condition i applied minus vs and in between these we plotted what was the value of id what was the value of vak and all those things so this was turn off characteristic now we are going to learn about turn on characteristics right we are going to learn turn off characteristics so for turn off the diode was going from on to off right so in turn on what will be the diode will be going the diode will be going from off to on then only we'll get the turn on characteristics diode is going from off to on for achieving this off to on what will be the voltage input voltage input will be such a way that initially the diode will be in reverse bias condition and from there we are going to make the diode into a forward bias condition so we'll apply the voltage in such a way that the initially the diode will be in reverse bias and then we'll put forward bias and in between this transition we will see what is the characteristics so here also we can draw small voltage input graph so this is time this is vi okay so initially it will be reverse bias so i am going to apply minus vs initially and after some time i will be applying plus v right so here reverse bias after some time forward bias after understanding these all concepts we have to write some equations okay we have to write some simple equations you don't have to worry so first we will write some equations when the diode is when the diode is in the reverse bias condition when the diode is in the reverse bias condition now you know that in ideal case when the diode is in the reverse bias condition the diode will be in its off state off state or we can tell that the diode will be in its open circuit right the diode will be in open circuit okay so if i draw this circuit diagram here so this is my plus minus open circuit diode so this is the diode is in open circuit condition this is my load resistance rl and this i am completing the circuit okay now i am applying a reverse bias voltage so i will not change the polarity here i'll just pull put the polarity like this but to show i am applying reverse voltage i'll put a negative sign here minus vs okay i could have put the polarity and put plus vs but that creates more confusion rather than that i'll keep maintain the polarity like this i'll put a negative sign and when i put a negative sign it means i am applying a reverse voltage when the diode is connected in this way you have to remember that when the diode is connected like this so this will be in the reverse bias condition okay now let us write some equations so this is your plus or minus vak this is your plus or minus vak now this vak value with a simple kvl you can see that it will be equal to minus vs vak will be equal to minus vs and the id value id value that is this current value id will be equal to zero id will be equal to zero but this is in the ideal case this is in the ideal case but you know that in the practical case there will be a current which is flowing in the reverse direction which is called the reverse saturation current okay so in the practical case id will be equal to minus is id will be equal to minus is in the practical case so these are the equations that we need in the reverse bias condition okay remember these equations it is very important now the next case we are going to write equations for when diode when the diode is in the forward bias condition when the diode is in the forward bias condition now you know when the diode is in the forward bias condition diode is in the on state diode is in the on state and when the diode is in the on state it is in the short circuit condition right it is in the it is behaves like a short circuit condition so i can draw my small circuit once again so this your plus minus so this is a short circuit right the diode is acting like a short circuit load resistance rl and i am completing my circuit and this is positive vs we are applying positive voltage so forward bias so this is plus or minus vak 
plus minus V A K. This is R L, and this is my forward current I D. Okay. So let us write in the ideal case what will be the case. So in the ideal case, V A K will be equal to zero because it is a short circuit. Okay. And this I D value, I D value using simple Ohm's law will be V S divided by R L. I D value will be V S divided by R L. But remember, this is all in the ideal case. All this is in the ideal case. For practical case, in the practical case, you know that V A K will not be equal to zero. V A K will be not equal to zero, and this I D will be almost equal to V S divided by R L, right? So this is the practical case. This is the practical case. So we have written some equations showing value of V A K I D equal to I D and I D. For practical case, V A K I D for ideal case, and then we are written V A K for practical. So, okay. so these are the equations which we have written to understand the turn on characteristics of the diode. So, the actual graphs we will be drawing in the next video. For the time being, just understand all these concepts and understand these equations. And the next video we will draw the characteristics. We will draw the actual turn on characteristics of the power diode. Thank you.